Now, there's this really fun board game that Jessica and I like to play, and it's called Pandemic. And it's really fun because we both work together trying to save the world from the plague. What could be more fun than that? And the best part of all of it is that we are actually in it together. We both win together or we both lose the game together. And it's just a collaborative process. And as a metaphor, this is really how a relationship should be. Both of you are putting effort into it. And sometimes it works out and sometimes it just doesn't. And that's okay. So long as you are both in good faith, putting in your best effort to make it work. Then there's other types of board games. Take checkers, for example, where there's always one winner and always one loser, which happens to usually be me. And rather than being a collaborative game, this is a competitive game. What's good for you isn't good for the other person. And sometimes when you're dating, things end up that way. If you find yourself in a situation where you feel like a guy is always trying to get something from you and you feel like he's playing a game with you in order to actually get something from you, then keep watching this video. There are five games that men play with women that are not collaborative, okay? It's not working together, but instead, they are against your interests. And hopefully, after watching this video, you're gonna be keenly aware of these games that they play so you can step away from the game altogether and find the love life that you truly deserve. Keep watching. Hey there, Adam Little here from sexyconfidence.com where I help you create your love story. And this video is all about the five games that men play with women. Now, these games are not always necessarily conscious that guys are playing, but lots of guys set out to do this unknowingly, not realizing that it is a f***ing game. Game number one is, can I get her to have sex with me if I keep taking her out? There are some guys out there that look at sex as being a transactional thing. I'll take you on a date, but you better have sex with me. If you're finding yourself in a situation like that, you feel almost guilty, like you're going out with him, so maybe you should reciprocate, don't. That's not how the game is played. You should only have sex with someone if you are feeling it, if you are feeling like there is a great connection there. And don't get guilt tripped into sleeping with a guy just because he bought you a steak dinner. Game number two that guys play is how many women can I juggle at the same time? There are some guys out there, and a lot of times guys who are in their 20s, even 30s, who are just trying to hook up with as many women as physically possible. Dating apps have made this incredibly easy, and a lot of guys, I know a couple of them, who will juggle multiple women and see how many women can I even sleep with in a given week. It's pretty disgusting, but it happens. So if you feel like you're dating a guy who's a juggler, step away, because it's not gonna end well. Game number three that guys play is the can I get laid tonight game? Now, if you ladies ever talk to a guy at a bar and he made a move on you or you're talking, things are going pretty well. And maybe he made a strong move, maybe try to kiss you, but you denied him. So he ends up walking away and you think, why'd you walk away? Maybe this could have been something. The game that he was playing is, he's just trying to get laid tonight. There's nothing more, it's a game. He's not looking to date, he's not looking to get married, he's not looking for commitment, he's not looking for a girlfriend. So. Keep that in mind because there are guys out there that are playing it. Don't feel bad about yourself. It's on him. Game number four is how long can I keep getting what I want without giving her anything that she wants? These are the guys that tell you all the right things, that they want to be with you, that you're amazing, that it's a great connection, but they're never willing to actually commit. They're never willing to call you their girlfriend. And really all they're doing is kind of stringing you along for as long as they possibly can until they realize that, all right, it's the fan and they're gonna leave. This is a relationship leech. He sucks all of your emotional energy from you, but doesn't give you anything back in return. Game number five is how can I make her think that she is the crazy one? This is what is known as gaslighting, which is manipulating a person into thinking that they are the crazy one. Let's take an example. Let's say you're dating a guy and you have an exclusive relationship with him where you're not dating other people. And you notice a text go off on his phone from another woman and it says something like, you're really getting me going, smiley face. Now, because you're a sexy single lady, you're not gonna snoop, you're not gonna go through his phone, but you saw that. You saw that text and clearly that's very sketchy. So you go ahead and ask him about it because that text is really inappropriate. And his response to you is, oh, don't worry about it. That's just some girl from work. And don't look at my phone. You're a little crazy. Stop looking at my phone. And you'd simply just say, hey, like, can you just show me the text chain so I can understand the context of why she would say something like that? And he responds with, no, you're just crazy. You're just clingy. Stop. You're insane. There's nothing going on there. That, my friends, is gaslighting. 
he makes you think that you're the crazy bitch, not him who's probably cheating on you. So have you ever had any guys play these types of games with you? If you have, leave a comment there below, tell your story, be a part of this amazing community here. And also, if you've ever had a guy pull away and you wanna learn how to bring him back into the relationship in a very healthy, non-manipulative way, then what I recommend is you go to whytheypullaway.com. I have a special training there for you that's gonna teach you why it is that men pull away and the three biggest dating mistakes that women make that cause them to do so. And it's gonna really help you kind of reframe your mind so that you can finally attract love. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, give it a like on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to YouTube. I have a lot of kick-ass content coming this year. So go ahead and make that subscribe and I will speak to you, you sexy single lady, next week. Bye-bye.